All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sis of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I want to talk to you a minute about a, a Holocaust. I'm not going to talk about the Holocaust because when I say the Holocaust, immediately your mind turns to the atrocities that happened to the Jewish people in the in the land of Germania commonly called Germany and it's amazing to me that this is the focus and attention anytime you mention the word Holocaust how we have all been trained and manipulated to actually go back to in our mind now I understand the numbers which is greatly off when you know history and understand it and yes it was a very small minute holocaust but are you not amazed that here in this country here in america the greatest holocaust that has ever been perpetuated against mankind is not taught in our public schools from one end of the united states to the next i'm talking about the transatlantic slave trade where over 100 million blacks were taken from the land of ham that is commonly called Africa or the land of Leo Scipius Africanus to the land of Amerigo Vespucci or commonly called America. Is it not amazing? And look at the condition of this country. Every single year we send $100 billion in aid to Israel. And what that is is called reparations. We give them, and we go to work in this country, the citizens of this country, we give them over $100 billion a year in reparations, including uh, support for the three or four, check this out, Holocaust museums in this country. And whether you like it or understand it or not, that aid is reparations for people who had atrocities committed against them from the alleged so-called Germanic people. Now, should not the German people be paying this reparations rather than the American people who had nothing to do with it whatsoever at all, if that is the case? I'm trying to show you racism that flies under the radar that many of you people out there do not understand the reason why that some of us educated black people um, have reservations when we hear the politicians get up and grandstand and stage play politically and socially in front of you because it just simply is nonsensical and it doesn't make any sense to us. I'm bringing out facts here and I dare any of you who disagree with me to go check it out to see if it's so. But you know what the black people in this country get for the greatest holocaust that has ever been perpetuated against mankind? I mean, let's just go by their numbers. They say that the Jews, there were six million of them. Uh, which we know that those numbers are definitely um, uh, up for debate. But in this country right here, the blacks that was taken from the land of Ham or Africa, well over 100 million, 100 million people were taken and brutally mistreated in the greatest holocaust that has ever been in the history of mankind. And yet they get not one single dime, nor are there any museums erected to this atrocity. And then you get this Oreo president by the name of Barack Hussein Obama and say that the Jewish Holocaust is the greatest Holocaust that has ever happened in the history of mankind. Now that is a total gross misrepresentation. That is a total inappropriate and out of bounds attitude. That is gross ignorance and negligence and he alone, along with everybody else who's of this consciousness right here, are actually enemies of the people who have been enslaved by these people. Um, these are just facts. But is it not, are you not amazed how that these facts are muted to us as a people? And anytime I bring up something like this, um, the first thing that, that um, the people don't want to hear is what I have to say. Oh, but let's talk about the Jewish Holocaust, but forget about the black Holocaust. Oh, it's amazing. Isn't it utterly amazing? Isn't it utterly amazing 
the way they have manipulated and conditioned our minds. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I will never forget. I will never, ever forget.